friends, are you ready to do a science experiment with me? All right, this one's really simple. You only need a couple things. You need a great big baggie. Not the little kind, but a big one. We call this a gallon size because you can fit a gallon of something in here. Then you need some pencils. Now the important thing about this is that they're sharpened. That's the most important thing. They need to be pretty sharp pencils. So Mrs. Hilscher sharpened those. So they're ready to, ready to roll. And then you need some water. That's all you really need for this science experiment. All right, I did get, I got this container. It has, um, it's like a Tupperware container to keep cookies or something like that in. So I got that, but you could always do this outside or you could do it over the sink if you wanted to do it at home. All right, so what you need to do first of all is you need to take your gallon size bag and fill it with water. Now to make this a little bit more interesting, I thought, what if we took and colored the water a different color? Do you remember what this is? You're right, it's food coloring. So you, you only need a couple drops. We'll put a couple drops of food coloring in here. Let's see if Mrs. Hilscher can open this without spilling it. Oh, you know what? Let me zip that back up. Let me open this first. So I'll put a couple drops. And remember, boys and girls, we're always really careful with food coloring because it will stain our hands. It will stain our clothes. So if you're going to use food coloring, you need a grown-up to help you. All right, boys and girls, doesn't that look cool? The way the food coloring just kind of falls down into the water. I'm going to give it a little shake. Kind of mix it up a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Now, we've done this experiment in enrichment before, but I know not all of you got to see this experiment, and I think it's pretty cool. So I thought maybe our friends would like to see it again at home. So, boys and girls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can poke this sharpened pencil into this bag. Now, what do you think will happen? Do you think if I poke the bag, the water will come out? What do you think? Maybe that's why Mrs. Hilscher has this container to catch the water. Well, let's see. We have to work kind of quickly. Ooh, did you hear that word? Quickly. What letter does that start with? You're right. You guys are so smart. It starts with our letter of the week. Qua, qua, quickly. All right. So, my friends, I'm going to hold the bag up and watch Mrs. Hilscher. Are you ready? All right. I have this here just in case I need it. My friends, look what happened. The other end came out the other side. It went all the way through and not a drop of water came out. My friends, do you think I could do another one? Think I could do another one? Let's see. Oh, my friends, same thing. How about if I do one below? Let's see. Oh, did a great job. Water isn't coming out. Boys and girls, do you see how quickly I'm doing this? I have to work quickly. And I'm pushing the pencil in to right across from where the pencil goes in and it comes out right across. All right, Oop, boys and girls, I am having a little drip there. And there goes another one. How many of these? I've got four. Do you think I can get four more in there? Will you count with me? One. Oh, I'm seeing a drop there too. Two, whoops, two, three, four. Now my friends, oh, oh, what's happening? Look my friends, it made a hole and the hole is starting to come out like a fountain. All right, what will happen if I take out another one? Whoop, it's getting on my table. See why you need this container? Oh, it sort of looks like a fountain. Now, these aren't coming out quite as quickly. The more that I take out, they're a little slower. Boys and girls, it kind of reminds me of one of those fountains that you throw coins in and you make wishes. All right. So, boys and girls, that is a fun activity that you can do at home. All you need is a big bag, some water, and some pencils. 
Make sure you work quickly. And boys and girls, watch that you get the pencil all the way through because that was Mrs. Hilscher's problem. Do you see this one right here? Let me see if I can turn it around. It didn't go all the way through. It's still in the bag, but it had poked a hole. And that's why the water came out. All right, boys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed this science experiment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.